guys, Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. Hi, I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we are watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Last time was pretty amazing. Bitter. Is the bitter work. Bitter work. I yeah. Say bittersweet. It yeah. was the uh, training video. Video. Training video. What the Yeah, fuck where they learned to train and they taught you how to airbend. Or rock bend. Or air fire bend. Earth bend. Or lightning bend. Or water bend. Yes. No. Yeah, they were as a water bend. Bend backwards. I like the water bending scenes. What are we talking about? We had Iro training uh, Zuko. Mm -hmm. We had him talking about the balance of the four nations. Lightning going through his, skipping over his heart. Going through the sea of his yep. stomach. Yeah, the sea of chi. All these different nations and different techniques. Different, but yeah, he developed elements. he developed a, a fire bending attack that's based off water bending principles. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Uh, fire bending defense. Hey, we talked about this yeah. at the end of last episode. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just like to I just like to get back to see where it's a recap. Where we're at. Yeah, plus sometimes we forget. And, and then sometimes yeah, yeah. you know not all of us remember stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let's watch Avatar. Whatever is going to happen here, it's going to happen. I know you can see underground, but don't ruin the surprise. Just watch. Go first. <laughs> yeah. Like prairie dogs. I'm putting an orchestra together. Alan! Orchestra, huh? Alan! La <laughs> 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 Why would animals do this? We need some intelligence if we're going to win this war. <laughs> All right. We'll finish our vacation God, and then we'll go we'll stand up. I love just watching Momo do shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that guy's hardcore. Look at this. How I got a fusion. Kabachi and these motherfuckers do better than that. <laughs> Air Nomad, right in front of me. Professor Zay. Oh, it is Indy. Anthropology at Ba Sing Se University. Oh. You've made a lot of trips into the desert. <laughs> all in vain, I'm afraid. Well, he went circle at one point. I've found lost civilizations all over the Earth Kingdom, but I haven't managed to find the crown jewel, Wan Shi Tong's library. According to legend, it was built by the great knowledge spirit Wan Shi Tong with the help of his foxy knowledge seekers. What did he say? Oh, so this foxy. spirit has attractive oh. assistants, huh? I think he means they look like actual foxes, Sokka. So the library that Zhao used. Of course, there's the matter of finding it. I've made several trips into the Siwang Desert and almost died each time. I'm afraid that desert's impossible. Have you flown? Would you like to see our sky bison? <clears throat> A sky bison? You actually have one? Make sure you have enough water. Sandbenders, show away from the bison. Sandbenders? Is that what he called them? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's the Earthbenders that. Been... Whoa. Whoa! It's like a pontoon boat. It's a catamaran. It's a sand glider. Oh. Hard to find a place like this out here. Right? I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's buried under the sand. Yeah, maybe. I like how she's always like holding on to that. Yeah. Because she because she can't see anything. She can't see. That's what it will sound like when one of you spots it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. She's such a I was wondering, like, wait, how? The building in this drawing is enormous. The wolf. Hey, here's a scroll. There's a scroll. Fox. Oh. A desert fox. Fox wolf. What? I think that was one of the knowledge seekers. Oh, we must be close to the library. This is no. so fucking cool. This is the library. Look. That's the top of it? Yeah. It's completely buried. Oh, Jarek. You guys go ahead without me. You've got something against libraries? I've held books before, and I gotta tell you, they don't exactly do it for me. Like oh, Aaron. Right. The exquisite mosaic handiwork of this tile-rendered avian symbol is... Nice owl. He reminds me of a more tame version of, uh, uh, Professor. <gasps> Whoa! Doctor. It's a giant owl! That's kind of scary. Dude has eyes behind it. Ah. No, you're back there. <laughs> He's smiling. Hello, I'm Professor Zay, head of anthropology at Ba Sing Se University. You should leave the way you came, unless you want to become a stuffed head of anthropology. Jeez, that's scary. Are you the spirit who brought this library to the physical world? Indeed. 
Humans only bother learning things to get the edge on other humans. Like that firebender who came to this place a few years ago, looking to destroy his enemy. So, who are you trying to destroy? What? No, 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 no destroying. We will not have used the knowledge in your library, good spirit. You have my word. Hmm. Very well. I'll let you peruse my vast collection on one condition. To prove your worth as scholars, you have to contribute some worthwhile knowledge. Hmm. Please accept this tome as a donation to your library. First edition. Very nice. Whoa. Ha! I suppose that counts. His one poster? Yeah. Oh, great spirit. Check this out. Ta-da! It's a special knock. That counts as knowledge. You're not very bright, are you? Why any not knowledge? Enjoy the library. He had knowledge. <laughs> That's scary when I was walking. The sand is so loose and shifty. It makes everything look fuzzy. Not that there's anything wrong with fuzzy. I like they they even drew them in the shadow of the tower. Just smart detail. Ooh, what's the that? The darkest day in Fire Nation history. It's got a date at the top, but it doesn't say anything else. What's this dipshit doing? Abusing. The information on the Fire Nation should be right up here. Firebenders. They destroyed everything having to do with the Fire Nation. That's so unfair! It's a planetarium that shows the heavens moving. Maybe these dials represent dates and times. Yep. Sokka, try entering that date from the parchment you took. Hey, wait. What happened to the sun? Oh, it's eclipsed. Great. You must have broken it. It's not broken. Mmm, their darkest day. The sun is yep. behind the moon. They draw power it's from the sun, eclipse. right? Yep. It's literally the darkest day in Fire Nation history. Firebenders lose their bending during a solar eclipse. <laughs> Sorry. Best that time to attack. Sense. I mean, think of what the lunar eclipse at the North Pole did to the yep. waterbenders. We've got to get this information to the Earth King at Ba Sing Se. Mm -hmm. Wait for the next eclipse. The Fire Lord is going down. Mortals are so predictable and such terrible liars. Mm. Can you just wait to have this discussion until you left? Nope. Please, we're just desperate to protect the people we love. And now, I am going to protect what I love. I'm taking my knowledge back. No one will ever abuse it again. He's sinking the building. We've oh, got to get shit. out of here. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Whoa! You already know too much. He's oh, a swan! I already told you, I don't want to snuggle. Ah. <laughs> Library sinking! Ah. It's a spirit mm, though, right? She's sinking. I think it would be an undertow or something. Suck her in. Oh, she had to move the sand out of the Oh, sweet! Life. She had to harden the sand. Man, you're destroying your knowledge! He's taking it from this realm. I beg you, do not destroy your vast collection of priceless tomes! <sighs> if we leave this place, we'll never get the information. And come with me to the planetarium. I need cover. Katara, what? take Momo and get out of here! What? Okay. This whole place is sinking. You don't have a lot of time. Dinosaur Owl is freaking me out. Sandbenders? Are they coming to hell? I don't know. Remember how they were looking at him before? Fucking what? Fly away, Hoppa! Close. There it is, there it is. That's it. The solar eclipse. It's just a few months away. Sandy. What the fuck? She needs to hold that. Appa. Why is he just letting it happen? Now fly. Pick them all in the air. Whoa. They're benders. They can root themselves. Ugh. Sheesh. Everything's so fuzzy, she said. Yeah. What the fuck, man? They got Appa.
fucking pissed. I'm just gonna fucking leave. Fucking Tuscan Raiders. Ugh, it's next it's getting longer. Sokka, the door locks. I've studied northern water style, southern water style, even foggy swamp style. <laughs> the swamp. Ha boom! Take some knowledge. What? Sokka style. Learn it. <laughs> yeah. Sokka style. Learn it. Wow, that's what it took to take it out. Wait! Professor, let's go! I'm not leaving. I can't. I could spend an eternity in here. Just go! You're oh, about to spend an eternity. a water source. Fly, Momo, Momo. fly! Man, if she hadn't been out there holding it that whole time, right? they'd be stuck in there. Where's Appa? God damn it. Fuck this episode. I didn't realize how long the episode had already been. I thought, okay, so they'll get out and they have to go get Appa. Well, by quick. That was a real exciting episode, honestly. Because, like, Appa got captured by the, the swamp fucking people, right? And then they got him back. Yeah. Appa and Momo. Well, yeah, he was being chased by him, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's just as rare as the yeah. as the earthbender, that hang, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, God, damn it. Him. It's a good episode. I'm just pissed. That spirit went down like a bitch. Yeah, he did. Got Especially after getting fucking got Bible airbended the motherfucker out of. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't have too much. I like the spirit. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's an owl of knowledge, which is neat. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was really cool. Honestly, uh, I mean, we know Dave Filoni, who I know he has some part of this. I know he's not the creator of the show, but he loves wolves. He loves owls. You know, so yeah. he's always putting those things in there. We, we had an owl face with the uh, the faceless spirit <laughs> thing, didn't we? Yeah, the, uh, face dealer. Yeah, yeah. That thing was. And terrifying. we had like a we had like a giant wolf thing in the background in one of the shots too. Yeah. Well, because it was scary, but it was yeah. also, like, you could tell it had it had this like wise. Yeah. This type. this thing, kind of comparable. Maybe not as scary, just in terms of sheer like terror when you're looking at it. But something so intimidating by the look of a bird, you know. Yeah. Especially a bird of prey that. Yeah. With the hook beak, it fucking turns his head. Ah! I like the. Uh, like the other earthbending we have of sand. Yeah. Like sand versus ground. Yeah. Which I mean, they were just earthbenders, weren't, weren't they? Or really specifically um, sand. No, because I mean, Toph bent, bent She sand. could bend sand yeah, too, so. but it, it seemed... I don't know if it's difficult to her because she's not used to yeah. sand, or if it's difficult to her because of being blind. Well, he said that he studied north... And south. So there's water different shots. dialects. So, the, so the, yeah, and there's different dialects in the fucking It was different styles style. and techniques. And that was one of the things we were talking about last episode. We were talking about, like, maybe geography has something to do with the bending style. Yeah. Like, we, and we said, like, yeah, the north and the south, but there is the swamp people that are waterbenders, and they've, they, they kind of have, like, a different way of doing things, too. Yeah, yeah they so. manipulated the vines, the water in the plants yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing that I read that I thought was really cool is uh, all of, like, the... the the Chi like Chinese and Japanese characters that appear in the show are like, like they went to an actual translator and had him translate everything. So if you actually looked at those pages and translated them, they would say real things. Yeah. Say Aang wanted for yeah. being an yeah. avatar. Yeah, it's really cool attention to detail you did not have to yeah. go through, you know? I, cool. I love that. Bong Sing Se has a university. I mean, I realize it's a giant city, but it seems to be more of like a metropolis. Isn't it where Boomi's to be in hell? It wasn't he had no, that was his... Boomi City place? is... Uh, Get his place called Amasho. Yeah. Amasho. Yeah. yeah. Bossin said was the one that. What's his name? Was it's taking? where Six Hundred Days. Yeah. It's right where, with Ira. Yeah. It's where he yeah. was taking that. <clears throat> the spirit built the library, and then I like the sun and the moon. Yeah. Water helps the moon. Sun yeah. helps or fire and sun. So during the opposite eclipse times is the best time to attack those. That's neat. I mean, they have no power at all. Like just like the waterbenders. Mm-hmm. They say it's just a couple months. Their darkest day. I mean, Aang only has until the end of the summer, right? Until the yeah. next comet comes. Yeah, to so yeah. comment. Yeah. yeah, I mean, hell, they got a lot of fucking shit going on in the sky. There's an eclipse. Wasn't there just an eclipse a little bit ago? Well, didn't they summon an eclipse or something like that? Or like no, the, red... the summer solstice. There was, was a summer solstice. It was a summer solstice, yeah, but which is annual. But it was also because Admiral Zhao actually killed the moon spirit. Well, yeah, at the end of the finale, and yeah. the moon turned blood red, and yeah. then Took the waterbenders the couldn't use the power. Yeah, and did it in. I guess it didn't, wouldn't enhance the firebenders, but what would be the comet. But when you yeah. take the sun away, yeah, wow, okay. I, I like I think that it's stuff. Just like, there's a giant fireball in the sky, the sun giving them yeah. power. And you get another giant fireball in the sky giving them more power. Yeah. That's how I would assume it's mm. 
It's interesting. Is it? It's weird that I feel like I'm less scared of uh, Ozai because I've learned that he didn't like. He's not an honorable man. He didn't like win that throne. Hey, how he, he did he, something. He else. Our, he our city is dead. Yeah. Killed the king or whatever, and the took it old fire lord was. He could have been asleep. Yeah. Yeah. And could I, Iroh take him? Having his general knowledge. Yeah, I, don't, stuff? I, I don't know. Here's a legitimate question. Do you think He's got to be good. Do you think we'll see that? You know, uh, indie type scholar guy again. I kind of hope so. I kind of liked him, but yeah. And you know, I, I wouldn't kind of huh. He's buried in the giant sand desert. I think Benny. Like is what Bye, that? Oh yeah. God, no! <laughs> like, <laughs> do it again. I can't. Do I it can't. again. No. no Say O'Connell like Benny. I can't. Oh God! Yeah, I can't no. do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> oh God, no! Yeah, that's pretty good. That kind of sounds like him. Kind of. <clears throat> All right. I did it better the first it's time. It's terrible. Dude, bastard. Fucking the duck. It's crazy. What? <laughs> do the duck. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I, I can't believe I went 10 years out <laughs> without knowing that he did it. Okay, I don't have much else. This is kind of just like a fun, maybe not even fun, because I didn't have fun. It was a deep end. episode. Yeah. It, was, it was, was a cool episode. It was a it, quiet episode. And it's not like a, it's not like a filler episode, because it's yeah. actually it was a mystical, them into what they're doing. So. Despite the show the way it is, it was mystical, even to the characters. Yeah. It's like going to the Mortis trilogy. Yeah, you know I mean? But at it, the end of the day, you just got to beat the shit out of that spirit and it'll fall down. Yes. Hit with the head with the book. Bible Saka style. Bible thump him. Thump him! Alright. Because I'm always thumping. <laughs> now you hit the button. Thank you guys for checking out this video. You can go down in the description. Links to our social media down there. Social media? But if you can't wait, or, ah, you can hit the button over there. Uh, Patreon. Maybe watch next episode of Avatar. When? No. No, say it louder. No! Calvin. Too well. Now! Ah! <laughs>